Welcome back to Living It Away. Academy Award winner Steven Spielberg directs fellow Oscar winners Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep in a film about the release of the Pentagon Papers. This is a devastating security breach that was leaked out of the Pentagon. The most highly classified documents of the war. Hanks and Streep star in The Post, based on the true story of the Washington Post's publication of the Pentagon Papers. So, can I ask you a hypothetical question? Oh, dear, I don't like hypothetical questions. Well, I don't think you're going to like the real one, either. Do you have the papers? Not yet. The Academy Award-winning Street plays Washington Post publisher Kay Graham, the first female publisher of a major newspaper in the country, while fellow Oscar winner Tom Hanks portrays Post editor Ben Bradley. The Post has received six Golden Globe nominations, including Best Picture Drama, Best Director, and Best Actress in a Drama for Street, and Best Actor for a Drama for Hanks. The movie was already, who has already won, that is, multiple critics' awards, as well as the American Film Institute's Movie of the Year honor. What will happen if we don't publish? We will lose. The country will lose. The Post is rated PG-13. Oh, that looks, looks good. good. It does look good. There's so many movies that I have to see still, but I that know. does look very good. Two very good actors. I had planned on seeing a bunch of movies while on vacation, but then I got sick and, uh, and didn't see any. Yeah, sorry. So, um, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll see this one. Have you seen Star Wars yet? I don't plan to see Star Wars. My husband and son went on the opening night. Oh. It would be weird for me to all of a sudden start watching Star Wars now. Yeah. Because I wouldn't understand any and of the And they characters. don't expect it from you. <laughs> I would be one of those annoying people talking in a theater. Who is that? And why is that <laughs> happening? You know, because I don't know the history. You'd see the post first. I would. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, nothing goes better with popcorn than, or nothing goes better with movies, movies than popcorn, <laughs> especially Primo popcorn. Mm -hmm. Now, attention all you cheese lovers. We've got the popcorn for you folks. So this is the popcorn of your dreams. Sha cheese is one is of Primo's Sha boldest and richest flavors. I don't know. Sha, cha, <laughs> whatever you want to say. <laughs> now, they want you to start your New Year's off right, so this popcorn is a buy one, get one free special while supplies last. So hurry and get yours today. I think it's something like, instead of cha-ching, it's cha-cheese. Oh. Right? So and I, th I thought it was like, cha-cheese. Like, cha-cheese. No, I think it, well, it could be either one. <laughs> tomato, 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 tomato. Oh, my God, we think alike. That's horrible. Oh, God, no. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and try that. While you're eating that, I'm going to tell everybody about this next movie. Okay. This horror, fr horror franchise keeps giving fans a lot to be scared of. <laughs> Jonathan Hunt catches up with some of the cast of Insidious to find out why audiences can't get enough of it. People who need help with matters that can't be explained, come to me. Insidious, The Last Key is the fourth installment in the horror franchise following parapsychologist Elise Rainier. Now this time she's investigating supernatural disturbances in her childhood home. To end this evil, I need to go deeper into the further. Everybody is fearful in different kinds of ways. And in this particular installment of Insidious, you see Elise, Elise's fears, which I think inspire, uh, inspire something new in the audience because she's the one that's usually on top of the, of this, of the situation. And she's the one who's the least fearful. Unlike sort of Judeo-Christian possession movies, it has a more of a carnivalesque kind of quality to it. So I think the surreal element of it also works to its advantage. Ooh. Star Lynn Shea has been in all four films and says this horror franchise is unique. There's also different kinds of scary. I mean, there's the jump scares that we were talking about, you know, where the, somebody comes out and the, the big music <laughs> sting and ah, you know, like that. But then mm. there's the insidious scare, which is, I think, a lot of what this film, forgive the expression, but that's, I think, a great word to use because there's things that sit in you, I think, after you leave that make you think about stuff. I have scars. Insidious, <laughs> the last key is rated PG-13. Oh, man. Okay, I would totally rather watch Star Wars <laughs> than that. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I oh don't like God. scary movies. I love scary movies, but then you get those goosebumps. 
later, and uh, this looks like one of those. You know, she was talking about there are different types of scares. Yeah. Yesterday, we went out to dinner, and my, my daughter and I were walking, and my husband and son were hiding behind the corner. <laughs> <laughs> they got us good. I mean, I literally screamed at the top of my lungs. Like shishi kind, shishi your pants kind, scared. I didn't do that, but yes, that's scared. Close. All right, time now for our next treat from Primo Popcorn, <gasps> frozen custard, mm. back on Living 808. It's the lemon cream, just what you need after the heavy holiday season or a scary movie. It's light and delicious, just a little sweet cream with a touch of lemon. Oh, mm. open that baby up. Okay, and we have two spoons. I'm loving Yay. it. I love their frozen custard. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Oh, man. That is good. Mm -hmm. My mouth is watering. <laughs> oh, that is good. All right. Academy Award nominee Annette Benning portrays an Academy Award winning actress from the mid 20th century in a biopic about the actress and her young lover. Hey, you're the next door guy, right? Which makes you the girl next door. <laughs> what starts as a vibrant affair between a legendary femme fatale and her young lover quickly grows into a deeper relationship, with Turner being the person Gloria turns to for comfort. Their passion and lust for life is tested to the limits, though, by events beyond their control. Film stars Don't Die in Liverpool is the name, and it is rated R. <laughs> that's an interesting movie. Yeah. I feel like that's one of those name. artsy fartsy movies that we'll be playing at Kahala or something. Yeah. Artsy fartsy. <laughs> artsy fartsy <laughs> movies. All right. We love our Thursdays with Primo Popcorn. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to check out today's featured flavors or there are many other unique flavors, all you have to do is head to the Primo Popcorn store on Sand Island Access Road. And if you can't get there, you live on the neighbor island, no worry, Beef Curry. You can always click and shop online at primopopcorn.com. Good stuff. Yes. All right, coming up, the final segment of Hawaii's Kitchen with